So the price of the Flipper Zero recently bumped up to $199. Before you can even think about putting out your wallet for what everyone calls the ultimate hacker gadget, we need to have a little chat. Can it really clone any key card, start any car, or just snatch credit card info out of thin air? There are a ton of myths floating around and dropping 200 bucks on a myth is just a bad look. Well, I'm Jay Blank, and today we're cutting through the Hollywood hype to get to the hardware reality. I'm going to break down the five biggest things you absolutely have to know about the Flipper Zero before you spend a single dime. All right, first things first, let's get real about what the Flipper Zero is and what it isn't. You've seen the viral videos that make it look like some kind of magic key for the digital world, right? Well, the truth is a little more complicated. This thing isn't going to break modern secure encryption. It's not cracking your neighbor's Wi-Fi password or bypassing the high security systems at a bank. Think of it more like a Swiss army knife for messing with wireless signals. Its real power is that it crams a bunch of different tools into one gadget that fits in your pocket. It's got antennas and modules for sub gigahertz radio, RFID, NFC, infrared, and Bluetooth. I mean, it's pretty much a device for exploring and understanding all the wireless tech that's constantly flying around us a lot of which is way less secure than you think. It's a tool for learning and showing off security holes that already exist, not for creating new ones. Well, let's bust one of the biggest myths that the Flipper is a universal remote for any car or garage door. That's mostly a fantasy. Now, the Flipper Zero sub gigahertz tool can in fact capture and replace signals from really old simple remotes. Well, if your garage door opener is from the 90s and uses a fixed code, then yeah, the Flipper can probably record that signal and play it back. But here's the catch. Pretty much any modern car key or garage opener uses something called rolling codes. Every time you press the button, it sends a completely new one-time use code. Capturing one of those codes is totally useless because it's never ever used again. The Flipper Zero can't break or guess these rolling code systems. So the whole idea of you walking through a parking lot opening up modern cars, well that's pure Hollywood. Now this next myth is cool but terrifying. The idea that someone with a flipper could just walk past you and yoink your credit card credentials out of your wallet. The truth is, this isn't a practical threat. Well, here's the deal. The flipper's NFC reader can get the same public info from a tap to pay card that any store's checkout terminal can. Now, it might grab your card number and expiration date, but it cannot get the most important piece of the puzzle, that three-digit CVC code from the back of your card. Now, without that code, the data is basically useless for most online shopping. Now, while some cards might leak a little more data than others, Modern chip cards were specifically designed to stop exactly this kind of simple attack. We are busting myths and saving you from dropping cash on hype. If this is the kind of straightforward tech advice you're looking for, do me a favor and smack that subscribe button. We're always cutting through the noise to get to the truth. Okay, now that we've cleared the air, let's talk about where the Flipper Zero is a total rock star. Its real world superpowers are its RFID, NFC, and infrared tools. Now, a surprising number of offices, apartment buildings, and hotels still use simple, low frequency RFID cards for access. Now, the Flipper Zero is exceptionally good at reading, 
saving and then emulating those kinds of cards. For security researchers, this is a fantastic tool for showing a company its physical security weaknesses. On a day-to-day -day level, it can be a super convenient way to back up your own access cards. Oh, and let's not forget the infrared port. You can download huge community-built remote control files for thousands of devices. This turns your flipper into a universal remote that can mess with almost any TV, air conditioner, or projector you aim at it. It's a simple feature, but it's one of its most reliable and genuinely fun uses. Finally, and this is a big one, you need to understand the risk before you buy. While owning a Flipper Zero is legal in most places, how you use it is what matters. Using it to copy an access card for a building you don't have permission to enter is straight up illegal. Capturing and messing with signals that don't belong to you can land you in serious legal trouble. And don't think you're flying under the radar. Authorities are very aware of this device. Shipments have been seized by customs and its sale has been banned on sites like Amazon because of these concerns. The community and the developers are crystal clear. This is a tool for testing and education on your own devices. If you're not prepared to respect that line, this device is not for you. So let's bring it home. With the price sitting at $199, is the Flipper Zero still worth it? Well, if you're a hobbyist, a STEM student, a cybersecurity pro, or just someone who's endlessly curious about the invisible world of radio signals, then absolutely. It is an unmatched educational tool and powerful device for legitimate security testing. Custom firmware like Momentum, backed by a massive community, is constantly expanding what it can do. But if you're looking for a magic box that performs illegal hacks, just save your money. The Flipper Zero is a tool that demands knowledge and respect for the law. It exposes insecurity, it doesn't create it. And that is the most important thing you need to know before you buy. Well, I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.